This is your second collaboration with David Cronenberg. Uh, how did you first become involved with Maps of the Stars? Uh, I think it was like quite soon after Cosmopolis came out, he just said, do you want to do the, the next one? And I was like, yeah. That was it? <laughs> yeah, I hadn't even, uh, I, mean, I, I think I got sent the script about six months afterwards. And, oh. and I, I think I might have even already done my deal by the time, by the time I'd even seen the script. Did you know that it was going to be a, a more of a supporting role? Uh, he told me it was the lead. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 I definitely knew. I knew. Uh, uh, well, I, I didn't even know what the part was at all um, until like quite soon to shooting it. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I, I mean, I would do the same thing again a million times. So you'd, you'd work with David at the drop of the hat on anything? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What is it about his work that fascinates you? <sighs> it's always very striking. It's always. Uh, I think he's quite good at casting as well. I don't think he would offer me something if if, uh, if he didn't think I was right for it. Um, I like the mood on his set. It's kind of it's very. I mean, I, don't, I just I just like. I mean, we do like on this. I think I don't I didn't do any more than one take on anything, um, which is kind of it's a nice way to work. Um, so this movie paints a picture of ho a Hollywood that's very sick and dark and deep and depraved, uh, and also very alien. Uh, would you share that assessment? And if so, does that did that color you know why you took on the project at all? Um, I think there's definitely something alien about it, mainly because people in uh, who are actors really, not necessarily just in Hollywood, they're just people who uh, they examine themselves a lot more and like to talk about it. <laughs> um, and I think if you're you know, spending a lot of time being self-obsessed, you just end up, end up being kind of a weirdo, and it's kind of it's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, I don't know if my view of Hollywood is particular like that. I mean, I've always found I always find weirdos kind of entertaining and interesting, um, and have a lot of patience for them for some reason. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, definitely that the tone of it is definitely David's in that kind of clinical, slight detachment from everything. That's um, yeah, definitely his view. Yahoo!